homonym, homograph, and homophone. What do they all mean? They all sound the same and they all are quite similar. So we're going to debunk what these all are. So our first one, homonym. Homonym are, those are words that sound the same, they're spelled the same, but of course they have different meanings. All of these are going to have different meanings because if they meant the same thing, we wouldn't have to have another word for it, right? So just know that all of these things mean different things, but they're either spelled the same or differently, and they either sound different or sound the same. So our first one, homonym, they sound the same and they're spelled the same. So like to wave and a wave, they're both spelled W-A-V-E, mean different things, but they sound the same too. To rock a baby, or like a rock out in the playground. To sink a ship or your kitchen sink. Sink is another homonym. And to fly in an airplane or a little insect, a fly. Those all are spelled the same and sound the same homonym. Our next one, homograph. Now remember our graphemes are our smallest unit of written little symbols, letters, right? So grapheme, think of a graph, think of writing, graph. So homograph, they are spelled the same. These words sound different, they're spelled the same, and of course they have different meanings. So homograph, they're spelled the same. Spelling, same. So words like this are like to lead, the line, the line leader, lead, and pencil, lead. They're both spelled L-E-A-D, but they sound different. To lead the class or lead, pencil, lead. What about to, all right, come on up and present your project. Or here's a present. They're both spelled P-R-E-S-E-N-T, but present or present. And then we also have like a driver's permit. Permit, a driver's permit, permit, or you're going to permit somebody to do something. Now those do kind of sound the same, but they are definitely spelled the same too. P-E-R-M-I-T, good. So homograph, they are spelled the same. Graph, homo, same, good. And our last one, homophone. Think of phone like you can hear on a phone or like a phoneme is the smallest unit of sound. And so these words are going to sound the same. They're spelled differently. And of course they have different meanings. So flower, like a little flower you might have or flour that you're using to cook or bake with. That's F-L-O-W-E-R. Or if you're cooking, F-L-O-U-R. What about if you ate, <laughs> ate something, or what about the number eight? A-T-E, <laughs> E-I-G-H-T. So they sound the same, but they're spelled differently. So phone, sound, homo, same. What about buy, to purchase something? This was written by the author, or buy. Now there's three, B-U-Y, to purchase, written by, B-Y, or by B-Y-E. And then what about hour? What hour, what's the hour? I'll meet you in an hour. Or welcome to our classroom. Hour, H-O-U-R, hour, O-U-R. So let's review. Homonym, think of synonym. They both end with that. And that means that same sound, same spelling. Homonym has the most things that are the same. Homograph, the graph, like a grapheme, those are the written words. Graph, homo, written, same. So spelled the same. These words are spelled the same, but they sound differently. And then this one, homo, phone, they sound the same, but they're spelled differently. So they sound the same, spelled differently, like flower, a little flower, and to cook flour.